your question well, about whether they, they want to they want to fund it. I yeah. they're a little bit surprised. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you very much. We're probably not going to vote on it today, but we are discussing it today. <coughs> Representative um, McCarthy, Umberger, and Clark. Thank you, Madam Chair. I agree with Representative Umberger and, and, and Representative McConkey that uh, the delegation has already, uh, I think, expressed individually our support for the UNH cooperative if we can afford it, if, if it's reasonable. Uh, relative to the planning, um, I, I would suggest maybe some contingencies uh, in the planning. You know, one set of plans, if the UNH moves in, this is what it, we have to do, this is what it'll cost. If UNH doesn't move in, we have to do this much less, and it will cost this much less. So, uh, you know, a, a contingency planning in, in, in that respect, and, and uh, I, personally, I, you know, I would plan on, the, on them moving in, but uh, I, I, I still think contingency plans would help. Representative Umberger? I guess that the only thing that I would say in this uh, is the fact that uh, the, this decision should have no effect on the budget because we're, you know, we're looking at trying to make that decision uh, by the 31st of December. And so if the decision is made not to go with cooperative in December, you just take it out of the budget. But I certainly would not take it out of the budget until such time as a decision about whether or not we're going to, to continue with it is made by the delegation. And I hope that we can have that decision prior to one January. We may decide that we want to have this after we mull this all over. Us. We would want that decision by the 1st of December. Because when do you send your budget in to the uh, uh, first week in December? First week in December. By the so 10th, I believe. Between the 10th and the 20th. That's when we meet. Okay. That's when we But first? Okay. The first of December. Okay, Representative Fleck and then McConkey. Just a comment on the planning. I know that's a difficulty. It's always difficult to plan when you don't know all the variables. Uh, but I would say that, echoing what others have said, I sense a support for cooperative extension. I also uh, think you have to be probably uh, somewhat concerned about what happens within cooperative extension because we don't know what services may be cut and specific programs may be reduced or cut. We don't know that. So I think you have to go with what we have right now. You have a sense that the delegation supports cooperative extension. You have, uh, you, you have a knowledge of the services that are provided now, and I think you don't have any choice but to go with that. And it, you know, you're not going to expand it. You may have to come back down, but at least we have to accommodate what's going on right now. And I, I just wanted to make other, one other comment about the uh, placement on the agenda today, or the discussion on the agenda. Uh, I, I think we all feel that um, it's appropriate to, when we're talking about a facility to talk that is going to house a service, it's appropriate that we talk first about whether or not we want that service. And I think that's what this is all about. Yeah, I think it's a good discussion. We have to get it out in the open. We have to talk about it as a delegation. And that's exactly what we're doing today. So and I think Commissioner Swanson had it. Okay, and I also want to say to you, Henry, is that Representative Norris <coughs> came to me last week in a session and, and said that one of his constituents had asked the question of what was going on. So that's why it wasn't just, yes, I have to, it was probably in my head this morning or even yesterday, but Representative Knox did bring it up. And I said yes when I saw him last Wednesday or Thursday, whenever I saw him. Okay, Re Representative <coughs> Sorensen and then we'll go, to, no. Commissioner Sorensen <laughs> and then Representative McConkey. Yes, I was. Um, I guess my my comment is that several people have suggested that they support corporate extension. Is it possible to get a vote to find out how many feel that they want to support corporate extension? Do you want a strong vote is what you're asking for? Whatever you think is appropriate. 
Okay. All I hear is there's some people in support. I'd like to see it in the minutes that the vote was taken and whoever supports it supports it. Okay, Representative McConkie. Thank you. I am um, uh, a bit set back by uh, Commissioner Sorensen's uh, feeling of being poop food or whatever the comment was. Um, I don't think we're delaying your process because you haven't started your process on what's the right thing to do. I believe what I'm hearing here is that we want to move forward with the plan of what it's going to cost to make the cooperative extension a home to go at. And if the question comes down to someday that the cooperative extension ceased to exist on our property, I would pass to Commissioner Solomon and say it would probably make good storage space. Um, Could I follow up, Madam Chair? Yes, go ahead, and this will be. Would the delegation release some of the money that's in cooperative extension? Right now, there's roughly thirty thousand. They turn back twenty-four thousand this year had from last year. If we're going to get an estimate as to what it's going to cost to rehab this building, we need to have some money to work with. I can go to Bonner Page and Stone and have them put together a, a cost estimate. But you got to pay for it. If anybody's got any suggestions, I'll be welcome to hear them. I, I don't want to be uncooperative. I want to lay everything on the table um, so that you know where I'm coming from. Um, like I said earlier, I can't put an estimate on it. And I think that's a key to the whole problem that we're dealing with. How much is it going to cost to rehab, let's say just the core section. I can get that. It's going to cost some money to do that. You've got eight thousand out of the fifteen that you had. You spent seven. Can you do eight thousand? What will that? How will that? Want to pay and stone do that? That was well. The seven thousand, Madam Chair, was to find out whether it's feasible for design, yeah. and that's what we did. Now we need to know what it's going to cost to put a new roof on and to move those rooms around according to that plan. I don't know if it's going to cost eight thousand, less than eight thousand, more than eight thousand. I have no clue. But before I can come in, or we can come in with a with an estimate, we need to have something. The issue that I have with uh, and with the spending of the money is the fact is is that what we want is what are the specifics of what you want to put in that building. I don't necessarily, at this moment in time, need to have an exact cost estimate. If you're going to say, I, unless the rest of the delegation is that if you take this and you pull down, you, you, you make it so that extension goes here, there's storage here, there's this here, there's a possibility of probate, whether or not the probation will come in. Mm -hmm. But what it would be 3,000 square feet for, or 4,000 square feet for extension, whatever else you'd have to do here for storage, and what we do here. So that what happens is that it is your specific idea that you would like 3,000 feet for extension. You might want to have six, five, three thousand feet for storage. You might want to have whatever else it is that you're thinking in here. If the laundry, it, it seems like the laundry is a, a little more complicated than what we did and I'm glad we had DES in here. Mm -hmm. So that what happens is that maybe you can come up with a possibility of taking out ten walls and, you know, having to tile the whole thing and do that and make it have it come in with it, the eight thousand dollars so that we can look at that. But I don't really want to give you thirty thousand to do an engineered drawing of it because I don't want to if we don't accept the object option of the core, then I don't want to spend any more money on it than what we already have. The extension is already paid seven thousand. There is this, you know and that's my feeling. What does the rest of the delegation feel like? I, would, I concur wholeheartedly until such time as we have a clue as to what, what we, the delegation, agrees is going to go into the old nursing home. I won't spend, I won't agree to spend any on doing anything else. 
However, there is still $8,000 there. They, they need to be able to talk to Bonnet Page and Stone, okay. and it might take a little bit to do that kind of a drawing. Um, Pettengill, um, McConkey, and we, well, we, uh, uh, Where did the money come from to do the updated uh, asbestos study that was just recently done? That, that was done without any cost by the um, demolition but Always company. wrecking? Right. Okay. Pat and Gil McConkie, did you have another yes, question? Yes, thank you. In the last building committee meeting, when we were looking at who would make more sense and Strawpole Straw was taken and Bonapage Stone was selected, I was under the impression that they talked about taking on a certain body of work at no cost and then if it came forward that they would accept payment at that point in time. So they're, they're already committed that if you go to contract with them, that they're going to do that certain amount of work at, at no charge, knowing that it's going to come forward. Mm -hmm. And the second thing I would like the commissioners to sincerely look at is I, I have find it very hard to even think that we would maintain a second kitchen for the possibility of a, of a uh, very small minority to use for 4-H and or for a culinary class. So I would like the select, I would personally like the commissioners to be thinking about that space without a kitchen in it. I would like the commissioners to be thinking of that space without a meat room. There's some other variables that I think they should be looking at. And I think once you remove some of those thoughts, you'll see that your wings probably won't become quite necessary. Okay, Representative Albany. Thank you, Madam Chair. I'd like to make a motion. Go ahead. Okay. Uh, motion is the delegation moves that the commissioner shall present a plan for the use of the current Mountain View nursing home with a cost not to exceed $750,000 by September 30th, 2012. We further appropriate from the capital reserve budget of the UNH Cooperative Extension, an additional $10,000 to fund uh, whatever consultation they might need from the, for the architects. Where in the world did those numbers come from? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> read it. You're right, I'll speak to, to my motion. You're going to have to. Would you read it again? I. Would you just read it again so I can figure out what you're talking about? The delegation moves that the commissioners shall present a plan for the use of the current Mountain View nursing home with a cost not to exceed $750,000 by September 30th, 2012. We further move to appropriate from the capital reserve of the UNH Cooperative Extension, an additional $10,000 to be used to present this for, their, for additional consultations which they may need from architects to give us this plan and budget by September 30th. And if I may speak to the motion. No, we're gonna need a second on that one. Second for discussion. Okay. okay. I'm not suggesting that we should spend $750,000, but I am suggesting that I know that I'm not voting to spend more than $750,000. They need some sort of budget. They, we, this is costing way more than $750,000. So, you know, this is not what we're looking for. In, in my, from where I sit, what we are looking for was somewhere in that neighborhood of $500,000, which we discussed last fall. That was the plan, which was to include the use of moving cooperative extension there, which I think they should still put into their plan, okay? Because I think that there's a good chance that that's, you know, what the, that's what we wish. Um, we have some money over in the, you know, the capital reserve, and, and they may need some help to put this together so they have an understanding of what they can do for $750,000. So we can change the number that you want to spend, we can vote on amending it, but I think they need a target. 
They need a budget. This is what we feel 